Hey everybody, Haku here with my live reaction for Omniscient Reader or Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint Chapters 120, 121, and 122, hopefully. At least, I, I want to shoot for three, but if I only do two, it's because the first two were super, super crazy long. Uh, I'll be real with you, I was busy, I was outside working all day, and I just got a shower, and it's like 12.15 a.m., it's after midnight, so hopefully... Like, I can start... I've I've been doing, like, weekly Omniscient Reader videos for months now. I've been really, really good at doing these every Tuesday, but they're at, like, 3, 4 a.m. So hopefully, starting next week, I can try to start doing it at, like, actual, real, normal time. Um, like a normal human being not doing this at, like, 4 a.m. So, either way... I am excited to get into it. We ended last time on the cliffhanger of the meeting between the kings and then Jungkook showing up. And I guess it's really not all the kings because the, again, I keep getting his name wrong, the internet king, he isn't here. But either way, let's uh, see what we get starting with chapter 120. Also, really quick before I started, I did want to shout out... You know, of course, Ron can, who has been doing weekly ORV stuff for a while. If you want more people doing ORV, go look to Ron can. He went live at like 10.30 p.m., so like two hours ago. Knowing some of his Tower of God streams, he could still be live for all I know um, as I'm recording this. And also Pyro Prima, or I, I actually think in one of his streams one time he said Pyro Prima. So I may have been saying it wrong this entire time, but Pyro just caught up and is now on the weekly grind so I wanted to shout out both of them I don't know if anybody else covers ORV in my general circle of people I know in an internet sense but I wanted to shout both of them out now then with that aside let's actually get to see what happens in a 120 then we have everyone reacting here what's going on Jinkyuk steps on his back, it looks like. Uh, the su the Supreme King. Alright. And that it feels like we have had almost this exact same panel of Jinkyuk before. He glances over to Dokja. You're here. I love the relationship. I will now announce the people who will be participating in the upcoming scenario. <laughs> no bickering over who sends the most or least. <laughs> Just Jung Jung decides. If you have any objections, let's hear it. M move it. Take your foot off me. Who the hell are you to just burst in and he just has no, no care for this at all. He steps harder. Ugh. Security! Where are the guards? And everyone outside is just unconscious. I guess there aren't any. And now this guy is taken out too. Then, I'll tell you who will be in the scenario. Alright. Now we have uh, Chapter 23, Abandoned World Part 4. Jiwon and Dokja make eye contact. How are you so calm? And then, I'm sorry, but I'm not in the same boat as you, because Jung Hyuk has acknowledged me as his ally. Although he keeps threatening me, saying that the contract period's over, he's pretty much admitted that he needs me. The first member will be, of course, me. <laughs> and then, immediately, well, it's obvious, isn't it? Why wouldn't he be on the list that he made himself? Second, Lee Ji Hye. <laughs> she points to herself. Dokja is still surprised. A little surprising. I thought it would be me. It's kind of annoying. I love her face here. Well, I wasn't a member of his original group after all. The others might be upset if I get called before they do. He may seem cold, but he actually cares for his or for people he considers um, his own. I get you, man. Is the next going to be like Gil Young or something because he saw potential in him earlier? The third is Lee Solhua. That makes sense. Another member of his group. There's still seven spots left. There's still a chance for us. Those three are the only ones in the Supreme King's group. He'll have to choose people from outside his group for the remaining spots. It would be funny if he does start choosing, like, Gil Young, Yusung, even Hui Won, just picking all of Dokja's teammates except Dokja for now. We're the strongest of the remaining people, after all, think the other kings. 
Gosh, I can read them all like a book, but too bad. Next up will be me, thinks Dokja. The fourth member is Lee Hyun-sung. And then, even Hyun-sung is shocked. All of the facial expressions are so good this chapter. This, this is a really funny scene. I know the anime probably won't even get close to this in season 1, but this could be a really funny anime scene, if they paste it right. What? D do you mean me? 5th, Junkui Won. Me? The 6th is Lee Gil Young, so he is doing that, he's picking Dokja's allies. Huh? What? And Dokja might be last or something, but there's the suspense of everyone else getting picked instead. Then he glances at Yusung, who flinches. And Gil Young actually stepping in a protective stance? I did not actually see that coming. And... Right, it's finally my turn. You saved the best for last, right? No wonder he's the main character. He knows how to run a show. And <laughs> he scrunches his face. You walk and decide the rest. And <laughs> Dr. starts choking. That's so good. <laughs> I love Jihye here. What? Is that it? Really? What about me? Aren't you two friends? Says Weewon. That's what I thought, too. Constellation Demonic Judge of Fire is smiling contently. <sighs> Mister, didn't you talk to Master last night? I thought you'd definitely be on the list. What do you mean? Master said that he was going to see you last night. Around what time? Around 1 or 2 a.m.? Were you sleeping? That... Must have been right before I visited the Underworld. What was I doing? I was awake then, but Chun Chuk didn't come. Wait, before I visited the Underworld? Then I was drinking with Sang Ah, and... And then... We have this almost shoujo manga s style panel. Constellation God of Alcohol and Ecstasy smiles mischievously. So, he chose... I mean, he looked at Yusung, but he didn't say her name, right? But he picked Hyunsung, Huiwon. I thought there were supposed to be ten in there, right? But I only remember him picking six, because he picked Hyunsung, Huiwon, and Gil Young, right? And I mean seven if he didn't say it out loud, but just looking at Yusung is him picking her. So were there only eight and I miscalculated? Or was it like I said before, where it was ten, but... Pildu and um, Su Young are already in there. And then, no way. Constellation Demonic Judge of Fire is smiling contently. I really thought it was 10 spots, but you know, I'm gonna keep going. You've been gifted 500 coins. And in all of that, he didn't say Sang Ah, though, that I remember. Did he see that? So. And then, I mean. The shippers could, <laughs> like, uh, chalk this up to uh, angry, jealous Tsundere, Junkyuk. So, you kissed sang -ah? And then... No, that's not what I said. Were you even listening to me? Are you sure it was because of Dionysus? Maybe you pretended to be drunk. No, it was because of Dionysus and nothing happened between the two of us. Damn it, she doesn't believe me at all. Maybe that's what Jung Chuk saw, so he's left you out as a courtesy, but he's not the type of person who would do that. And even if Jung Hyuk had seen you two kiss, I don't see why he'd be offended by that. We didn't kiss. Constellation Demonic Judge of Fire says that is camaraderie. And then everyone else can see the message and reacts, Ha? Huh? Camaraderie? And then GA laughing. <laughs> is that what your supporting Constellation said? It's been a while. I forget, when was it that I was supposed to do? Another character ranking? I feel like I just did one, though, actually. Yeah, I did. I did just do one, like, not long after Chapter 100. Jeez, I want to do another one already to throw GTA up higher. And then, camaraderie. What's that supposed to mean? Camaraderie? I, or if that's the case, I think I understand. Come to think of it, I'd be offended, too, if I caught you doing something like that, says Hyunsung. And everybody is, I'm assuming, shocked at his candidness and how much he cares. Okay, and we get our recap of the scenarios. So hold on. Yeah, it's just to hunt down the stuff. And then the main scenario we don't know yet. Okay. 
Either way, I'll continue on to the next one, but real quick, I'm going to go back to the end of last chapter and see if I got the number right or something. I'm going to go recap on that really quick. Okay, it was 10, and he only picked like 6 or 7 there. So again, I don't know if the two that are already in there that we saw that Dok just saw count or not. I don't know if that counts or not, and they're taking that into consideration already, or if he's just saying, hey, I'm picking these six, seven, if you soon counts, and decide the rest among yourselves. That might be it. But they kind of made it seem like there was only one space left. So we'll see. We'll see how things go. Er, but of course, like once you send the main group in, you can bring in more people later on. And I don't know yet until we actually get into the scenario. I don't I don't know if that's going to be like some kind of summoning system like the Tower of God growth tournament or if it's going to be like you unlock like party slots and more people can join in because of that. And yeah, don't know don't know how that's going to work actually in practice yet until we get there. But let's continue reading with chapter 121. Come to think of it I'd be offended. Okay, and we saw that at the end of last time. The constellation demonic judge of fire is excited to hear such an unexpected statement. Why would you be upset, Hyunsung? I put my life on the line in every scenario I take part in. Both me as well as Mr. Jung Hyuk are training each morning in order to survive the upcoming scenario. We repeatedly train ourselves rigorously day after day so that we may be able to protect our comrades in battle. What? And if a comrade of mine, who should have my back, was doing something like that because he was overcome by lust, how could I not be upset? I mean, I feel like it doesn't really take away from your ability to survive, to have, like, I don't know, interpersonal moments. I, I Like, they were drinking anyway, which is worse than them having kissed if they had kissed. Like, it's... To me, I feel like you're almost even worse if you're like, no, no happiness, no downtime, because then your mind is just going to sort of dull from getting, like, burnt out on being at attention at all times. And if someone who went to an all-boys middle school in high school saw that, and of course, I guess he's jealous as well, who are you talking about right now? Well, I'm just saying that anyone would feel betrayed. From what I've seen so far, Mr. Jung Hyuk was a man of self-restraint, and has always been very militaristic in every sense of the word despite not being military. It would be natural for someone like him to react strongly to something that could disrupt his line of command. He must have felt his camaraderie falling apart. Well, I guess that does make sense. Could he be right? Constellation Demonic Judge of Fire nods in agreement. How pathetic. You've been chasing tail all this time. Anyone who has such lustful desires will be removed from the team, as they are prone to cause trouble. Damn it, he did say something along those lines in the third round. I wouldn't feel so bad about it if I'd actually kissed her. It's too late to tell them that it's all a misunderstanding. Mr. Kim Dokja, we were thinking of choosing the remaining participants. Okay, participants plural. So it is more than one slot open for them to decide between. We have four remaining since the Supreme King decided to er, take six people with him. Again, I'm assuming they're meaning six people including him, and of course Yusung wasn't one that he actually said. Well, er, we'll have four people to pick. We'll have to pick four from the people here. Okay, okay. Hmm, since there are only four of us left, we should... How about it? we battle it out between us? Then... We have him immediately instant defeat. G1 is also seemingly done. They gave up. Well, I'll just stay back. Someone needs to be here to rule over the people. No way. I thought it was just the Supreme King we had to look out for. How did you get so strong? The ten who have just been selected are only the starting members, so be on standby. The second batch should be sent in soon. We should have done this to begin with. Uh, it is what it is. Now that you've earned four spots, who are you sending in? Well, me, of course. And that child. So, of course, those two. And the remaining two... It's not me, is it? No, it isn't you, G1. Fine. You go ahead. I have some business to take care of. Okay, so I'm assuming that maybe he's going to uh, choose Su Young and... Uh, too young and Pildu somehow. 
let's find some place where we can lay Miss Sang Ah down. And then they'll maybe summon Sang Ah later. Or he's going to take his mom and that, uh, the one, like, right hand person that's always with her. You must have many friends. Long time no see. And then we go back into the flashback from before. He hesitates. Mother. Okay. And now Abandoned World Part 5. More into the flashback. She starts to remove the mask. A long time. We saw each other last time. Okay, just getting a good look. She looks very, very little like Dogja. I just passed you by then. She's still the same, he thinks. She only looks as if she's in her late thirties. People used to ask me if she was my cousin when I was younger. I thought of just ignoring her and moving on. I mean, late thirties, I don't think would be like super crazy for Dokja's mom. Or maybe Dokja's older than I've been thinking of him as. I've been personally thinking of Dokja. Maybe they told us at the beginning of the series and I'm way off. I kind of viewed him as like maybe like just out of college working at this place. I viewed him as like early, early 20s. So maybe I've just been viewing uh, Dokja wrong. Dokja might be like late 20s or something. And even so, if he was late 20s, then she might be like late 40s, early 50s even. And maybe I'm not good at telling people's ages. I'm very awful, actually. I'm very, very awful. I cannot visually look at a person and tell their age, but I feel like that's normal. I don't know how that isn't normal, because, like, I have seen, like, people in their 50s that look extremely, extremely young, and people in their 20s that are, like, they could pass for 50. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. I feel like it's normal, because, like, people just don't look a standard way based on age in my opinion so i don't know her looking like late 30s it's like okay how big of a difference is that from her being in her early 50s at the most you know and then uh i thought of just ignoring her and moving on but i need her to help complete the upcoming scenario when did you get out of prison a while ago were you in Seoul? I was just visiting to see someone. Right, so that's how you got trapped in the Seoul Dome. That's right. If you were released, then why are you wearing a prisoner's uniform? Well, because I wanted to make up for what I did. Make up? You? All human beings are prisoners. They all live in cells of their own. Just as arrogant as ever, he thinks. She really hasn't changed at all. Shouldn't you thank me at least? Things would have been difficult without me. Well, she's right. She led her people and defeated the catastrophe of the North. Even though it was weak, it was still a catastrophe. You don't even seem pleased to see me when it's been so long. Do you really want something like that? A little. Personal skill lie detection level 1's been activated. The statement just now was confirmed to be a lie. Man, like, he's like, ha, I was right, she was lying. But also, like, there's the tinge of sadness to that. That her being like, oh, it would have been nice if we had a moment meeting for, like, the first time in so long or whatever, and, like, it's a lie. This is ridiculous. I knew she was lying, but I just had to check. You've managed to survive all that, or all that's happened so far. I'm impressed. It's all thanks to the stories you've told me. Just as I thought. You're probably the only kid in the world who told his imprisoned mother about some book he's read. Because there was nothing else to talk about. That book was my everything. And then we... Ah oh man, we end there. This is really... This was a really good chapter.
This stuff's been really good in general. I think the comedy stuff with all of the characters was really fun. The past chapter in this one too. All of this is stuff that I personally really like. I love getting into this character stuff and not just with Dokja as the main character, but when we're like focusing more on all of the characters. But either way, we got one more we can read. Episode 122, Chapter 23, Abandoned World, Part 6. That book was my everything. If it wasn't for TWSA, if the author hadn't serialized that story, I wouldn't be standing here right now. It's just third-rate garbage. And he gets pissed. It's all thanks to that third-rate garbage novel that you were able to survive, wasn't it? Constellation Prisoner of the Golden Headband is watching you with great interest. This would be all censored out for them, wouldn't it? For the Constellations. Constellation Secret of Plotters watching you with mysterious eyes. Which attribute did you get? Constellation Demonic Judge of Fire is watching you with pity. I'm guessing it might have to do something with the stories I've told you. Why should I tell you? True, if he's coming into this and he has all of the special powers he does as a reader, then what are her powers? If you still think of me as your child, I doubt you even think of me as your mom. A little. Character Lee, Su er, Lee Sugyung has used lie detection level 1. Lee Sugyung has confirmed that you're telling a lie. So, com confirmation for us as readers that Dokja doesn't even see her as a mom even a little bit anymore. But also, interesting to note that she does have lie detection, so she already has that, which is something that, honestly, Dokja got not that long ago, to be fair. And on top of that, I'm pretty sure we already got her name told to us, and I didn't know if it was her real name or if she was using a fake one, but if it's showing up in the messages, I'm going to assume it's real, and she has a different surname from Dokja. Damn it, she even has that skill already. She really must be my mom. Do you still blame me? Then, I'm not here to talk about that. Damn it. I can't tell if she's acting or if she's sincere. Your father was a bad man. I know. But still, that doesn't mean that you could do what you did to him. Sometimes, you have to make some sacrifices for a better life. That's just nonsense. When you murder someone, you have to pay the price for your actions. All, er, I see all that reading has er, I see all that reading has made you quite a, an eloquent speaker. Unlike me, <laughs> was butchering that line. To me, my life seemed even more unreal than that novel. All because of you. You know why I came to see you, right? Well, we can both detect lies, so let's just cut the act. Do you know the old lady with the inmate number 406? Lend her to me. You might be better off taking that incarnation who has... Jonucci as their supporting constellation. But Jonucci is one of your closest allies, and that old lady will be of more help to me. Right. I can see why, seeing what we're up against. But how did you know what supporting constellation inmate 406 had? I can't tell you. You must have a skill that lets you find out someone's supporting constellation, and he flinches. Damn it, I really should watch what I say in front of her. Are you gonna lend her to me, or not? I will, but why don't you introduce me to your friends next time? And then, yeah, that's got to be horribly scary and awkward for him. Like, it can be embarrassing, like, <laughs> like introducing your mom to your friend group in a normal situation. But in this, he would be introducing his mom <laughs> into, like, this group that he's been this cool like a special person helping them survive. He'd be introducing her to a group like that. She puts the mask back on. Damn it, she got me. Bringing out the worst in people is what she does best. Dokja, it's about time you faced reality. Even if all of this fiction became a reality, you should never believe them to be real. So she is still just looking at all of this as fake. The fourth wall is shaking violently. Man, 
maybe snapping him out of it a little bit because he had been so invested. Just a few words from her and my world is shaking violently. She's the person who reminds me the most of the reality that I hate so much. Do you understand? Stigma self-justification level one is activated. I hate her. I hate that she's trying to be a mom all of a sudden, when too much time has passed to turn things back to the way they were. The fourth wall is beginning to shake less. You're right. I take fiction to be reality. Why? Because that's just the way, or why? Because that's just the way I've lived all these years. It might seem pathetic to you, but I, er, but know this, at least I don't. Sell off reality to be fiction like you did. And he leaves. Man, it just makes me wonder what's going to happen. There's so many ways that seem like the obvious ways to go of her somehow redeeming herself, somehow rebuilding the relationship a little bit, and then dying. That seems like the obvious kind of thing, but I just wonder if that's the way they end up going. And he runs into Sang Ah walking out. So I'm assuming then he takes the last four spots for himself, Sang Ah, Yusung, and that prisoner he mentioned. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that you were taking so long. And then there's this awkward moment of silence between them. How's your hangover? I'm fine. I heard you carried me back here. I'm sorry. I've been nothing but a nuisance again. It's fine. You were only trying to look after me. Did you hear everything? She nods. Damn it. Wasn't there a sound wave blocking skill in place? Did Jinchuk break it on his way in? You must have found it rather strange why a mother and son would talk like that to each other. No, not at all. Do you want to know why? If it's okay with you. And then, my mother killed my father and served time in prison for it. It may sound a little harsh, but my father was someone who deserved that. Domestic violence, gambling, debt. He beat us every day while he was alive. And one day, my mom mustered up the courage and ended up doing something about it. I mean, you know, I'm not condoning anything in real life. This is all a fictional story in ORV. But, like, am I allowed to say based? I, I thought rumors had gotten around at work already. I guess you didn't hear. You must be even more confused now. As to why I hate my mother when she did what she did to end our suffering. It puzzles you, doesn't it? No, not at all. I may not be able to understand you fully, but... You think I should forgive her for what she did, right? You know a book called A Murderer's Notes from the Underground? And then sang -ah reacts. I think I've heard of it. It was a bestseller, wasn't it? A change in topic, she thinks. It was an essay a woman wrote while she was in prison for killing her husband who'd abused her. It was critically acclaimed. <laughs> I, lo I love this change in panel from here to here. That's so good. That's, that's like, that's really good with the art. The critics called it Korea's very own Notes from the Underground. It's been way overrated, of course. <laughs> I mean, maybe it was a bestseller because it wasn't underrated. It's just Dokja has a personal beef here. And then again, from this to this. I love how the art is staying near identical, but like just the slight changes change so much. That's right. It was my mom who wrote it. So we have the reader and the writer. And of course, we've already had the plagiarist. Okay. Very good set of three chapters. I love this character stuff. This is like when we... I've often said RV is at its best when it's doing like crazy out there stuff, and that's kind of true too. But I also think at the same time RV is at its best when we're really getting into this character stuff. I thought these chapters were very, very, very good. The art was incredible like always. The story was incredible like always. I love that we got some character focus and again on a lot of different characters, honestly. I think this is good character. Even sang -ah, who was barely just in here for the end, this was good character stuff. Her learning this stuff, seeing her reactions. I love 
these three chapters. It was very good. And we got some comedy. The comedy was good. I thought this was great. I really, really, really enjoyed these three. But either way, I'm going to hurry up and try to, like, again, it's almost 1 a.m. I'm going to see if I can, like, speed run, get this video up for all of you. So thank you so, so, so much for watching. Like, if you did like the video, comment down there, too. Tell me what you thought of these chapters, my first thoughts and reaction. Subscribe for more Omniscient Reader, much, much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. If you want a link to the Discord server, it is free and open for anyone. Just ask and I can give you a link. If you'd like to help support the channel by dropping a super thanks, that'd be appreciated as always. But if you want to not only help support the channel, help me to keep making videos, but do also get your name at the end of every video to get, um... One Piece videos a little bit early, then all you gotta do, hit join down below or go to patreon.com slash Hakuo of the Tubes or a link will be in the description to become a patron or member. Thank you to people who are already patrons and channel members. Thank you to Chosen Regular Evan Holly, Magical Girls, Fr Nono Abyss Knight, J.A. D.D. Pan, and Irony, Cheriton Students, David Linksaf, and Folded Ghoul, Slayer Candidates, SG and Stan Cedar, and Pure Element, Pate Ardial, who I think is like less than a week off of a crown. I don't know if I'm gonna need to go through enough Update anybody else's crown soon either um but yeah thank you so so much and if anybody is ever curious about the crowns at the end because i've never brought them up before it's just something that i started doing i started giving people a black crown for being around for a year and then bronze for being around two years but evan holly chosen regular evan holly has been hanging in here he's been a chosen regular for five years so we've gone all the way from black to gold and then gotten a second crown for another black one um so yeah huge thank you to all of you for your support huge thank you uh to all of you for watching and yeah thank you and i'll see you all next time